Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, working on the 39 Forgotten Hot Rod Project, jumping back on it here. And uh, one of the things we've been sort of uh, jumping around and getting the wiring and stuff done and it wasn't done on the car was the gas pedal or throttle linkage wasn't hooked up. Uh, so I've been digging and I found the stuff we took off the car when we first bought it. Uh, we took off some of the bell crank stuff, uh, the little pad that we found in the car and then also this little gas pedal that was on it before. So what I'm gonna try and do is utilize this stuff to work with the uh, with the engine we have in here. Should be pretty darn similar. I don't know if it had a teapot cardover on it originally, but for me looking at some diagrams, it looks like Ford used very similar linkage for like a bunch of years. And I think I can make this stuff work because I already have it. Again, the idea with this project is keep it cheap, keep it simple and down and dirty. So let's get started and see if we can get this thing working with the gas pedal in the car. All right, so the uh the throttle linkage piece here uh, sat in the car and obviously got pretty grimy. Uh, the one section here that rotates, the one bracket, uh, is free, but the other side is not. And uh, it looks like these two mount to the firewall here. And then um, this uh, this connects to the pedal down here. So I'll try and get this in the, in the vise here and see if we can break it free. I'm going to use some of my favorite stuff, Croil. Works pretty well. So we're gonna let some of that go in there. Hopefully it'll seep down in and we can see if we can manipulate it carefully in the vise and get this thing rotating again. Who knows the last time this thing, probably since the late 50s or early 60s. Oop. Oh, actually that wasn't bad at all. I was expecting it to be way worse. Well, there we go. Well, we got all those rotating. Might as well spray some coil in there for good luck. Cool. Got that rotating. All right. So we can take these old bolts off and uh, see if we can get this fitted to the firewall. And I think there's a piece of linkage that's actually missing right here that goes from here, from looking at diagrams to this pedal. There's like a little ball that fits in there and a little piece of linkage uh, hits it. So I may have to make something or improvise there, but let's get this mounted on the firewall and see where we're at uh, and see where everything needs to go. I'm hoping all the holes or some of the holes are there to give us an idea of where this mounted um, to make it a little easier. All right, so I sanded a little tabs off to hold the retainer for this, this center pivot. I'm not sure how they had it, but it didn't line up with any bolt holes. The only one that lined up is like one hole here. Maybe they had it like that, I don't know. But I was able to knock these over and then I can put new um, little retainers, whether I drill a pin in or I just put a little dot, dab of weld. Uh, but now that this is in, I can get this on the flat uh, with this piece and we can get it bolted up, drill some holes, get it bolted up, and then we can kind of see what needs to be done with all of this, but we just gotta get this in and get it rotating. Uh, I'm gonna have to move my wiring around because we had the wiring actually going through the hole where this lines up best, so I'll have to move that down to a different hole in the firewall, but uh, quick little quick little modification. All right, so digging around for uh, throttle linkage. I have all these little bins that I keep all my small parts in, like juice brake and throttle stuff. So I have all these, like, keep all these rods around that are just different throttle linkage, uh, progressive linkage from, you know, when I buy intakes and stuff, I keep all that stuff laying around. So I found a uh, piece of linkage that was good and I cut down the threaded portion here because it didn't need to be as long and, and tapped it up further. Um, so I have this piece and this will actually fit pretty well. So I'll show you guys how I have it connected. So I put a ball for, again, dug in my stuff. I found a little, one of these balls to thread it on here. It was missing off the engine. So these, uh, a lot of the old linkage has these little spring-loaded section that you can just basically pull back, try and do it with one hand like that. Connects, it swivels, that comes through. And then that's lined up over here with our, with our pedal linkage. And I'll go inside and show you what we're doing there. All right, so in here we have our pedal. Don't mind the wiring, I'm just working around it. We'll tie it all up later, but I've pulled down so I can drill and things. So I have it mounted up and there is a bracket right there, the two brackets. 
and then it actually lines up with a hole that was already punched in the firewall there with our linkage. Now the only thing I'm running into is that with the swing of that rod, when I push the pedal down, it hits the firewall at the bottom of that hole. So I can either lengthen the arm, or I think what I'm going to do is just basically slot the hole down lower so we can get our full throw out of, out of the pedal. And then we can set a height of our linkage. So we have the pedal arm right there that we will then work on connecting the pedal down on the floor. But that once we get this little Z-bar section figured out, then we'll be doing pretty good. But that's a little update where we're at. So I'm going to drill a hole here and or open up a hole. I'm going to actually use one of these carbide bits. These things are really handy. Eastwood sells all different sets of them. I use the crap out of them. I have to replace the set every year just because I use the, the hell out of them. But use that in the drill. We'll go in there and oval the bottom of that hole out just enough to let our linkage pass through and get clearance. And we should be good. Hook the pedal up and we'll be driving it in the car here soon. All right, so I ended up swapping the, the rod here and changing to a different one um, that was just a thinner rod so I didn't have to notch out the firewall as much to get the throw that I need. Um, but I have it all hooked up now. I drilled a little hole in a cotter pit in there. So now what we can do is um, start it up here. And I'll work, work the throttle in the car. couple things we need to do. Um, we got to get a obviously some sort of, sort of throttle return spring hooked up here. Um, so I'm going to probably make something that'll hook off the throttle here um, and maybe a bracket just to make something really simple. But the other thing I'm going to take you guys off the tripod here is, let me turn the light on. I changed my mind on using that floor pedal. I think it just actually complicated things. And what I'm going to do is, the first problem we have here is that this pedal um, is really, actually, let me go on the other side. It's sitting really high is the problem. And uh, we don't really need that pedal with the linkage. I think I'm just gonna make a, like a spoon pedal out of this. So it's obviously sitting really high. It's sitting close to the brake pedal, how it's currently sitting. So what I'm gonna do is, number one, we're gonna make a little spoon piece and I'm gonna probably um, cut this little section off and weld a little spoon on here first. And then what we're gonna do is heat and bend this so that we can get it over and kind of away from the brake pedal. And also we're gonna bend it so that it's down a little lower so it's not way up in there. So just a little tweaking with some heat and uh, a little welding and we should be pretty good other than the throttle return spring. So I'm gonna work on that stuff next, uh, real simple stuff and we should have this thing uh, pretty good here shortly.
All right, so got the pedal welded. I just did a quick hit with the flat, little mini flap disc and uh, sanded it all out and uh, looking pretty good. So now that we have this uh, little pedal pad we can work with here, I can bolt this back into the car and uh, then we can work on heating and bending this. It's kind of hard to heat and bend it out of the car without seeing what we need to do. So I'm actually gonna use the TIG to heat and bend this in the car because I don't wanna have to use an open flame. Uh, so we can just heat it somewhere around this bend to actually bend it over to where we want it to be, a little, little more room from the brake pedal. And then I'll also do a little bit with the bending here to get it to kind of slope down. So uh, I'm gonna bolt this back in the car and then we could start doing some heating and bending, but we're, we're on our way to the finish line. All right, so we're gonna start by heating this pedal up at the top, get it away from the brake pedal. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna use the TIG torch because I don't want an open flame to start a fire in the whole inside of the car. So this is uh, something I occasionally do with the TIG torch, which um, can be quite handy, to be honest. So we have our TIG gas on. Um, I'm gonna be using about 50 amps to heat it up and uh, try and bend it. I wanna try and get it to about here centered and then we'll have to bend it back to make it look even. So I don't use any filler rod, we're just gonna do the heat. And my vice grips at a horrible spot. They weren't much help. So I think I might want to go. Well, it actually isn't too bad. I'm going to turn the amperage up just a little. Well, no, we'll keep going. Pretty good. Pull the lock out of the steering, out of the throttle stuff. I got a little lock pushed in there. I'm gonna give it a try. All right, so we're gonna try the throttle pedal here, and it looks like it's pretty good. Um, I like the distance. Um, good, plenty of space here to move over. Um, and uh, I can go all the way, that's the full throttle. And when it's all, basically all the way up, um, it's right about here, just below the brake pedal. So I think it should be a nice, pretty comfortable for me. Um, and I have boots on, so, you know, definitely, a, feet are a little larger than they normally are uh, when I wear sneakers to drive, but this should be good. It's right on my toe when I push it down, it's right on the, 
like just below my toes there and it feels real good so now I just got to make a uh, throttle return spring bracket up, up at the front of the car and uh, then we can start it up and give it a try and see what it does but I am uh, I'm digging that worked out pretty well with the TIG uh, I'll just sand all those little spots that we heated up down and we'll dust it with some paint then when we're all set and done but we got to get the throttle return spring working next so we can start it up and rev it up all right, got another piece of eighth inch steel here, just scrap that I have laying around. And we're gonna just cut it into a little, took some measurements of how tall we need it to be. And using my bench shear, which you guys notice I use the crap out of. So much easier than using a saw. There we go. So there's a little strip, I'm gonna bend a little, uh, it's like three quarter inch. Bend that 90, um, and then we'll round the corners, and then we're going to drill a hole for the bolt to go through at the manifold, and then a little tiny hole for the spring to uh, hook into, and then uh, should be good. All right, so that wasn't just a small victory. That was a large victory for this car. Um, I was really kind of neat that we were able to reuse the, uh, the throttle pedal linkage that we found in the car when we originally took it apart. Even though we're not using the, ori the original T-Bird en engine that was in the car when we, when we found it, uh, we were able to use some of the pieces and parts that were in it back in the day when it was uh, driving around. So the use that linkage was pretty cool. I think I kind of simplified it uh, instead of using the pedal on the floor with a little piece of linkage hooked to the, the factory T-Bird bracket. Um, simplified it, put a little spoon pedal on there, heated and bent and made everything work. And actually I think it's a nice blend between what would have looks like would have been in the car originally and uh, and that that Y block stuff and honestly it's probably a more positive feel just getting rid of some additional linkage in there um, so that it works really nice. The uh, throttle return spring works awesome, pedal feels great, um, and I'm, I'm pretty happy. This thing should be pretty easy to drive versus like my, uh, the Pagoda City Coupe, um, the Free T, some of them you really need to drive it in sneakers because they're channeled so hard and everything's kind of pushed in real tight. You definitely need to drive in sneakers, whereas this car, uh, you can jump in this thing and drive it with your boots on and run around, which is kind of the idea of this car is just like a, down and dirty, fun hot rod, not spend a lot of money, 
and uh, not go too crazy on them. So little projects like this are really fun for me uh, to break up the monotony of some of the other stuff we have going on. So now what next, the big thing is we need to finish the wiring in this car. Um, I've been picking away at certain things, but we really haven't done much more than the video you guys saw. So we're gonna work on getting the wiring to the front of the car um, all hooked up so we could put the front clip back on. Um, I have a belt figured out for the generator. I just gotta uh, put a little bracket to for the tensioner on the generator. We'll be good there. We can wire up the gen generator to the voltage regulator, uh, which I have those parts and a bunch of stuff just came in for the car. Another really cool thing I got for the car was I picked up an original, like our reproduction of the original rubber floor mat that would have went on the front half of the car in this. So now that we got the gas pedal done and everything, I can throw that down over top of all this and it'll start really making the car look a little more finished inside. And uh, we're gonna order some glass soon and a bunch of other stuff, but we're really close. We're actually right up on the one year mark, um, just over it actually, uh, when you guys are watching this. So June 1st, my birthday is when I actually went and picked up this car and the other four cars from the junkyard. And uh, we, you guys will be watching this, what, June 2nd. And uh, it's just over a year. So just on, uh, over a year by a day, the car runs, drives under its own power. Uh, we just need to put the front clip and some of that stuff back on. So this car has really turned around in just a year on top of everything else that I got going on. So super psyched. So thank you guys for following along. Uh, I appreciate it. Again, videos, Tuesdays, Fridays, Sundays, you know the deal. Thanks guys. Catch you later.